Oh no, this is Ciao Daniel from Wines from Italy. Today I'm going to talk about the wine Rosso di Montalcino. As usual, we'll start off with the word and the meaning of the words. Let's take a look at this word. Rosso di Montalcino. It literally means red, Rosso means red, from Montalcino. Montalcino is a mountain, so it's a red wine from this area. Its big brother is Brunello di Montalcino. They're both made from the same grape, Sangiovese, and it's a Montalcino's in Tuscany. So Rosso di Montalcino, as in Brunello di Montalcino, have to be 100% Sangiovese with strict rules where you can make them. And the big difference between these two is aging. The Rosso is a younger wine than the Brunello, and they can allow it to yield a bigger crop than Brunello. That's why it costs half the price as Brunello. But it's still an excellent wine to have. And um, let's take a look at the map and see where Montalcino is. So the map of Italy, of course, here's Rome here, sort of in the center. You can go all the way up to Florence. And then from Florence to Siena is Chianti Classico. And then Monte Pulciano, and then over here is Montalcino, the mountain Montalcino. So south of Florence, south of Siena, and west of Monte Pulciano is the small area of Montalcino, a very famous, famous area. Let's look at the two Rossos that we have. These are really excellent wines. Petronera is the producer, and you can see that. Rosso di Montalcino. The name Petronera literally means black rock because the, the vineyard is obviously on Montalcino and is covered with small black stones, so they call it Petronera. Interesting enough, those stones obviously heat up the vineyard, so it's a, it's a pretty big style Rosso di Montalcino. The other one we have is from a great winery called Castello Romatorio. Castle Romatorio. It's from the town of Romatorio, and that's the name of the winery. And you can see this, and this is a wonderful wine also. And Romatorio is into arts because the Chia family are artists. Sandro, the founder, is a famous artist. Now Filippo, uh, he runs the winery, and it's known for art. So we have these two Rosso di Montalcinos, just excellent values. 100% Sangiovese is something you should have in your cellar. Thanks a lot for listening.